So, I'm not sure what it sounds like. I'm sitting a fair way away from the uh, phone and it's a bit windy. I haven't posted anything on uh, YouTube for a while. And uh, this will be the start of another sojourn, a little trip away, out to an island. It's a fairly southern part of Thailand, down near Chompon. Going to an island called um, Kotalu. Yeah, so um, I'm here waiting for the others to arrive in the car. I came on the bike. I'm at the port, which is in uh, Bang Sapan Noi. Yeah, so they should be here shortly. I think they're just uh, stopped at Lotus to get some supplies or whatnot. So we shall see what happens. Okay, so we'll see what happens when we get on the boat. Ciao for now. Okay, so we got a little bit of swell, a fair bit of wind, onshore wind, but I think the part of the island we're staying on is on this side, so it will be protected from this easterly. It's on the western side. And that's the island over there. Apparently it takes 20 minutes to get there. I don't think we're going to be going too fast because there's a little bit of wind swell. So we shall see. Okay, more video later when we get closer to the island. Just got off the boat, protected from the wind here, it's very hot, but beautiful, the water's crystal clear and clean, there's not much debris, well I'd imagine they clean it up, looks a beautiful beach, and uh, welcoming drinks on arrival before they ferry us to our bungalow. So we've got to walk up the beach to our room. This looks like the kitchen and buffet area where I assume we get most of our meals. Everything's included here, six meals a day. This lady's leading us to our rooms. What a pleasant little place. Kind of like it. There's only one resort here. Well, there's two resorts, both owned by the same people, but similar to this. I don't think they have many um, guests at the one time. I think it's essential that you book. Birch looks just beautiful. This is a pretty place, really quiet. I like it, I like it. Plenty of shade, lots of trees. Nice looking bungalows. Don't look too bad at all. Anyway, let's get up there. Nice looking room. I'll do the prices and the information about this place a bit later. I'll put it in the information under the video as usual. Very big, high ceiling, aircon, plenty of room. Plenty of storage place, almost a walk-in wardrobe. Bathroom doesn't look too bad at all. Open with mosquito netting, all timber. Hmm, mirror's a bit grubby. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Shower outside, open air shower. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Although I don't fancy the mozzies getting in while I'm having a shower. But yeah. Not too bad at all. I kind of like this place. Dirty clothes basket. Little bar fridge. Let me open that. Uh, just some water. Although the girls did bring some beers. The girls did bring some beers. Thai girls. They've got to have their beer. Okay, so that's the room. Very high ceilings. It's a really nice place. I kind of really like it. Yeah. Bed looks good. And the veranda. 
out and looks down over the bay. Absolutely beautiful. What a wonderful spot. Got to look. So uh, fishing is part of the you know, package on this island, on this resort, and this is the fishing trip. And I know some of you may say, and it may well be true, it is the cardinal sin of fishing to bring women and children and no beer. So this is the fishing trip. I can't really see it being too exciting. and. Uh, they only have hand lines. So the girls are pleased. They can do lots of selfies out on the boat while we're fishing. As you can see, women, children, even dogs, even dogs. The absolute cardinal sin of the fishermen to bring women and children fishing and no beer. Right. That's it. So this is the fishing trip. Oh, so nice to get in the water because I put the drone up this morning and lost the frickin' thing in the jungle and had to trek 200 metres through the jungle. Ripped my arm up with, on some thorns and crap. It was just horrible. And uh, I didn't video the trek through the jungle because I was using the phone and the drone controller to locate the drone. But fortunately, these DJI, DJI Minis are really good. I've hit trees twice with this, once in full view. This time, um, up on the top of the mountain up there, over that side. Yeah, so uh, when I got close to it, I just pressed the little control that says beep and flash, and beep, 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 there it was on the floor of the jungle under a big tree. So one broken propeller, other than that it's all good, I've got spare propellers for it so I'll put some on a bit later on today and I'll shoot some drone footage tomorrow if I can. Intrepid explorers. If you want to turn back out this way just paddle that side and it'll push you out this way. Right? 
I you, told her already. You're tired. <laughs> tired already. I thought you were going out to the dive boat. Oi! Notice here that uh, all of the coral, because the water's so crystal clear, uh, you can see quite obviously all of the coral, well, the majority of the coral is uh, dead. But apparently, the guy that does the dives here has made it his life work to uh, regrow the coral, and he's devised all these uh, PVC piping systems that he puts on the bo bottom with. Um, replanted coral and apparently he says it's his life work he wants to bring all the coral back so uh, really quite amazing whether it will happen or not with climate change we don't know the environment is changing radically and of course coral in shallow clear waters like this tends to die off because of the heat and uh, other aspects of uh, climate and I guess salination and there's a lot of fertiliser and stuff gets used in Thailand and around the Gulf and other places and goes into the system, into the water system and consequently into the ocean. So there you have the result of it, dead coral. But water still really beautiful. It was a nice little catamaran trip. This is the beach. There's only two beaches on the whole island. And we're going to get in the water in a minute because I'm telling you, it's so hot and humid with all this rain around. They've predicted rain all week, so it's going to be stinking hot and humid. Look at all that cloud up there. I got pissed down on when I rode down here on the bike this morning. But fortunately, I had the wet weather gear with me. Water is crystal clear. Look at that. The Arrivals Lounge at Kotalu Island Resort. Over there is the uh, restaurant right on the water. We've managed to get a table right on the water every time. Um, over the other side there is the bar. transport to and from the island. There's a lot more to this place. There's a lot more to come. I have to split this uh, island trip into two videos. As you can see around the corner, we discovered some more absolutely fantastic places and we uh, trekked right out onto the isthmus at the end of the island, the very tip of the island. It was uh, 
really quite amazing. Very strenuous, very strenuous, very hot, and uh, around. Uh, you'll see, you'll see in part two. So yeah, part two coming very soon. Ciao for now.